Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin. Welcome to a timeless collective love reading. This is for you to manifest the love that you are worthy and deserving of or to confirm a love that has come into your life. Let's see what spirit has for you. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. This is a fully channeled message. Spirit, please share with me any messages of love that you have for anyone who was guided here today. I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. Friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. The person that's supposed to be in your life, of course, they become your best friend. They really do. They're the person that you do everything with. They're the person that you go to. They're the person that you like to hang out with. <laughs> so the person that uh, you fall in love with ultimately becomes your best friend in life also. So that's beautiful. Just a reminder. We're looking for that friend. I have guilt. I release any belief that no longer assists in my soul's growth. Yeah, no guilt, no regret, no regretting the past, no re um, no guilt from the past. Like those are all energies that are very low vibrations. None of those energies are going to help you. So we want to constantly be releasing those types of feelings. Spirit, please share with me. I have a death. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. For those of you that have ended something, it's the start of something new it is, is how spirit just said it, um, that they could have something so much better for you on the other side. And, and that's how we have to look at it. You know, it's, it's a feeling of, yes, that person was put in my life for a reason. You could have ended that relationship, remained friends or moved on, but it is a feeling of, um, it's a start of something new and you have something else ahead of you. So let's focus on that. I have a change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. You are changing. Okay. I feel like a, you know, a pinwheel, like when you were a kid and you, you know, took a deep breath and you got that pinwheel going and blew on that pinwheel and it just spun and spun. Um, change, right? Change. So, no matter what, you are changing, you are in movement, even if you feel like you are in uh, limbo and nothing has been happening for so long. Um, you are constantly in motion, your energy is constantly in motion. So you have to just remember that things can change on a dime, things can change over time, and you can be on the other side. Let's see what spirit has for you. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Please remember to hit that like button. Uh, comment below. Thank you so much in advance. King of Cups. Look at him. I have a death card. Yeah, the death card. For every ending, there's a new beginning. You know, they're really reminding you that you're in a different place in your life. If you're struggling with I ended something and I'm having a hard time moving on, these messages could be for you today. I have strength. Absolutely. And I have a nine of pentacles. You are stronger than you think you are. And I know that you want to move on. I know that you are determined to make your life the most fulfilling that it can be. And spirit is, this feels like somebody coming into our energy that is unconditional love. It, it's a feeling of, you know what, I want to be with you for you. I, I want to be with you. And Spirit just used um, the word time with me. So I'm just asking Spirit now what, what they mean by that. And they're saying like through time, um, you know, um, like throughout time feeling. OK, so um, this unconditional love with this time element attached to it saying, I want to be with you through time, you know, through time and space. I will stay stay with you energy. Gorgeous. Thank you, Spirit. Let's see what else they're saying. The King of Wands, King of Cups. These cards are so cute. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I look at these little guys. It's like he's just like holding this little lion in his hand. It's so cute. This feeling of I, I don't know. I mean, King of Wands isn't just about feeling... Um, passion for you. Of course it is. But it's like you make me happy. You um, inspire me. You lift me up. You're the light in my darkness. You came into my life when I needed you most. So this person is, is I feel like, very open and honest to there's more going on here that we're a good match. 
And I want to go back to that friendship feeling because I'm even getting a feeling of friendship here with this. I just love doing things with you. I love being with you. I don't care if we're taking a ride in the car to the grocery store. I'll jump in the car with you because I like to sit next to you. So it's just a feeling of I just like to be with you by your side. I have a justice, a formal commitment. Gorgeous. Three of swords for every ending. There's a new beginning. What if what if spirit took something out of your life? because they had something more important for you. They had the person that they wanted you to share the rest of their life, your life with. They had, they have somebody who does want to commit. And there's a lot of people out there that do not. And if that's something that's important to you, I feel like spirits letting you know that this person wants to commit that this person, um, has is not afraid of a commitment. I'm going to say it that way. It's it's they're not out maybe looking for who am I going to marry next or who am I going to marry. It's I I'm not afraid of a commitment. If the right person comes along, I will commit. You know. So I, I love this feeling of somebody who's strong, somebody who's giving you this unconditional love, somebody who loves being by your side. Spirit, share with me some love messages. Please use these readings to manifest the love that you are worthy and deserving of or to confirm a love that's come into your life. So let's see what else they're saying. I'm ready to re reveal my true feelings for you. This King of Cups is not going to be afraid to express themselves. They're not. They're going to be open to that. I'm totally into you. I'm into your, how about mind, body, and soul? Like I'm totally into, yes, your body, but... Okay, you know, but I'd rather have a deep conversation with you. I'd rather go on an adventure with you. I'd rather jump in that car and go on a day trip and not know where where we're going to end up. You know, that's that to me is more the energy. I, I'm really attracted to you inside and out, inside and out. And I'm not going anywhere. I'm ready to commit somebody who is open to being in a long term relationship they're not just looking for a good time, Spirit just said. They're not just looking for a fling or casual. They know what they want. I can't get you out of my mind. I always love that. The chemistry is off the charts. So obviously, this is something that you're going to take. Here you go. You are my best friend and my lover. When I was talking earlier about the friendship, that is the most important thing that I feel is coming through today for me, that they want to remind you that you're going to meet your partner, your partner in life, your best friend and your lover. If that's what you want today, if that's what you are looking for. If you want that to come into your life, I want you to I want you to comment below. I want you to claim it. I want you to own it. I want um, I want my partner. I want my lover to be my best friend. I want them to be by my side and through this sense of time and, and put, putting in time into this connection spirit had shared. I'm thinking of calling and texting you right now. So some of you are going to tell me that while you were watching this reading, your person texted you. And I always love that because um, who you're thinking about, you're putting that energy out into the universe. They receive the, that vibration. And then all of a sudden they get that thought in their head of, hey, I'm going to reach out to my person, see what's going on with them. So uh, it's not a coincidence. It's just energy working at its best. Spirit, please share with me what do you have for us today? A start of something new. Gorgeous. Uh, wings of love. Give your love wings and it will return to you. Multiply. Let go, be free, feel blessed. Allow this love to come into your life. Spread your wings, open yourself up to receiving, open yourself up to spirit putting somebody in your path that, that you're meant to meet on any given day, something like that. A sweet symphony, harmonize the notes of both passion and devotion. There's a sense of uni unity, rhythm, and peace. Also a feeling of, um, I wanna say in, in alignment, also that we're in alignment, that it, it's just kind of easy, that we, it, it just flows. You know, if you listen to music, if 
if there's a wrong note or if somebody's off beat or off uh, tone, something like that, you know, it like jumps out, right? It's just like, oh, that sounded horrible. But when you are in harmony and when you're in symphony with each other, it just kind of flows and it's beautiful. So how about making magical music together? You know, something as simple as that. Um, deeper water, step out of your control zone, explore new depths. Um, how about deeper feelings? These are deeper feelings than I've ever felt before. Um, something like that, because we want to fall deeply in love with somebody. We want somebody to admit they have deep feelings for you. I think that's important. Oh, this is one of my favorites. You guys know I love bridges. I love anything that shows me I'm crossing over a bridge, bridge the gap between your hearts with trust. Oh, thank you, spirit. Believe safe. It's safe. How about that you're crossing over, you know, you're crossing over and all of a sudden this person is constantly thinking of you and they're thinking of reaching out to you right now. It, it's a it's a feeling of we're ready to start this journey. We've ended something so that we can start something new. I mean, all of those things are coming into me all at once. But for many of you, it is a crossing over stage. It is a, I just want to see what's on the other side. And I, I, can, I, I can guarantee you that what's on the other side, look at bottom of the deck, is a promise of love. Thank you, spirit. Believe there is someone meant just for you. You know, we cross over to the other side and what's on the other side the only thing that we want is a promise of love so i i want that more than anything your soulmate is on the other side there's a sacred union on the other side and there's a start of something new so that is so gorgeous we needed to hear that today we just we just need to know that when we're ready to give our heart again and truly start over that it's going to be worth it <laughs> that it's going to be worth it and that spirit has something so much so much better for you spirit tell me about this connection what do you have for us what do you have for us i have work okay so this person is i feel focused on their work you could connect to work through work i'm not a big advocate for dating somebody at work but you know, your past could cross as a colleague of some kind, or you just happen to met it connected around work, but it is coming into me as, you know, you're both hardworking, you're both professionals in some capacities and, and um, work's going to be important to both of you. This is a new love, a new person. This is an unknown person. They're saying dating queen. I want to date you. I want to take you out. I want to bring you flowers. I want to bring you a gift. I want to ask you on a date. Get ready for a date. Get ready for, um, you know, new love and somebody who's ready to, you know, this is, I guess, uh, it, this is coming into me as multiple offers. Like I have, I have three different people. I have somebody giving her tulips and roses and a, and a, and a, present. So we have multiple offers, multiple choices, and there's something going on around you that that is spirit's way of saying, I'm going to put people in front of you. I'm going to put different people in front of you that until you find the one that's perfect for you. So don't be afraid to date different people. It, you can go out once. If it does, it's, there's no chemistry there. They said there's great chemistry. If there's nothing there, then and you say, thank you very much. I wish you luck on your search. And, um, you know, and you move on to dating somebody else. That's why it's called dating. So multiple people may be interested in you. That Keep that in mind. That You may have a choice, a past life connection. You're going to know. You're going to feel more of a knowing when you meet the person that you're supposed to. I just knew that you were the one. It just felt differently. I can't put a fake my finger on it. It just felt differently when I met you. And then I feel like we're going to have a home together, create a home, buy a home, you know, live together. But we want to be happy. We want to be together. Uh, I do feel like you could have a choice that there could be more than one. I mean, I know you don't believe that. <laughs> um, there could be more than one person that that's interested in you, that wants to get to know you. And 
it's going to be up to you to decide which one do you feel like I feel like this is the right one. I feel like this is the person I'm supposed to be with. So don't be afraid to talk to more than one person. It doesn't mean you're sleeping with them. It just means you're going out for a drink or a cup of coffee or lunch. You know, it just get to know different people. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Six of Wands. Beautiful. Knight of Pentacles. The Magician. King of Pentacles. This just came into me as I want to get to know you, okay? Somebody who has a lot to offer themselves, but the way that this king is sitting back and pretty self-confident, I feel like they have this, they don't have to prove themselves anymore energy, okay? That they are, all, you can already tell whether they're successful in their life, they have achievements, they're self-confident, Spirit just said, so they want to get to know you and they literally sit back and ask you questions and they 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 want to hear your answers. They want to hear you what you have to say. So it's not somebody that it's all about them or when you go on a date with them, all they do is talk about themselves. This is somebody who sits back and, and listens. So I feel like that's a really beautiful quality. Thank you, Spirit, for sharing that with our person. Um, Knight of Swords. I want to move this thing forward is how I'm feeling. Eight of Wands. Pack your bags. I want to take you away. Three of Pentacles. I feel like they definitely are interested in what you have to say, that you have a lot to offer also. But it's a feeling of, you know, where where do you want to go? I want to take you away. It just came in like um, a little bit of a fantasy. You know, it could be our first weekend away. It could be our first trip together. It could be pack your bags. It's going to be a surprise. I want to surprise you and take you away. You know, so I, I don't know. Part of me feels like, this is this is somebody who is confident. I'm going to say it that way. You know, I if you could travel anywhere in the world with me right now, where would we go? Question, you know, and, and it's just kind of a fun question. And then all of a sudden there's a day that you wake up and in this person is saying, hey, remember when we used to talk about, you know, traveling to you know, those exotic islands, let's do it, pack your bags, let's go. So somebody who wants to take you away and be alone with you and, and enjoy that. I mean, very much a honeymoon feeling um, came into me a moment ago. So that is gorgeous. Spirit, what else do you have for us? What do you need us to hear? Uh, thoughts of marriage, thoughts of marriage. I do believe that. I, I do. I just said honeymoon. <laughs> Where are we going to honeymoon, right? It's like, I want to take you away and let's plan our honeymoon it is, is really how it's coming into me. We're, it's, we could just be saying, this is where I would go on a honeymoon. I want to go to, you know, somewhere warm. I want to go to Europe. I want to go to Paris, you know, whatever it is. But I, I just feel like it's something that we talk about. So again, this person is not going to be afraid to commit. So these could be things that we actually end up doing someday that we're planning our honeymoon. So not only thoughts of thoughts of marriage, but planning our honeymoon. How fun. A soulmate connection. Thank you, spirit. Faithful to you. Okay. Kudos for that spirit. I needed to hear. I can trust this person. This is my best friend. They don't want to hurt me. They're my lover and my best friend. There's a deeper commitment here than I've ever felt before. Beautiful. And they desire only you. I want, I want that. I want that. You can claim that too. <laughs> claim that. I want somebody who desires only me. I want somebody who's faithful to only me. I want a deeper commitment. And I want somebody who has thoughts of whether it's marriage or a commitment of some kind partnership, anything, but, and I want somebody who thinks that we're on a perpetual honeymoon, that we're always happy and it's just always blissful. Let's put this out into the universe. What a beautiful reading. How gorgeous. I want to thank spirit for these messages today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. I want to thank you all for be, being here and commenting. If anyone would like a private reading, I'll put my website link, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.